approval of nominees for appointment as cabinet secretaries. As lawmakers settled in for the afternoon session in the August House Tuesday afternoon, opposition lawmakers made good their threat to keep away from debate on the 83-page report of the Appointments Committee, MPs affiliated to NASA staging a walkout. The opposition MPs are making the debate a purely jubilee affair. <laughs> you know, our colleagues, some of them are not here. But, uh, Mr. Speaker, you know, the people of Kenya have been very good to us. They have given us the numbers in both houses, and I am sure we are up to the task to comply with the standing orders. It is an embarrassment because, Mr. Speaker, they are earning a salary from this house, and they are supposed to be representing their people, but they have chosen otherwise. Business would, however, proceed, but debate would instead turn into a chorus of approval of the committee's report, and with no objection raised, adopted by a simple majority of 50 MPs, lawmakers appraising the president's choices on gender, youth, and integrity. We say when the house is dirty, you get a lady with a new broom. So we have been given a lady, and I sit in the lands committee, and we're looking forward to working very closely with Ms. Farida Karone in order to bring sanity to the Ministry of Lands. Our nominee for sports, Mr. Rashida Chesa, who is being dismissed by those who are praising him when he was their national youth leader in ODM. And right now, when he's recognized, they want to say that is not uh, fit because of his academic credentials. As humanly possible, President ensured the cabinet appointees represent the diversity of Kenyan society. In its report, the Committee on Appointments says the nine nominees met all statutory requirements for the nominations to serve in cabinet. The nine are expected to take oath of office next week, immediately starting to play their respective roles as President Kenyatta implements his Big Four agenda. Jackie Maribe, JKL.